The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is CNEagles.com. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Chuck, time to talk signing day. Uh, last year, big class, seven-member class this year. Uh, you only lose one player in, in Sawyer Williams in, in the offseason, and as a result, signing class a little bit smaller. Uh, Cameron Andre, the only uh, player that you bring in, at least here in the early signing period. Uh, what's he bring to the table, and, and what's your goal for the, this year's signing class? Well, like you said, I mean, you never know what's going to happen uh, from the standpoint of, of, of year in, year out, your returns. But we do know that Sawyer's our, our lone senior. Uh, you obviously have Andy Barnett's another yeah. sort of – Andy would have been a senior this year. And, with, of course, with his health issues, he's, he's now just – he's working strictly as a coach. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll, lose, we'll lose Sawyer. And uh, we, we turn around and replace him with Cameron Andre, a 6'6", 220-pound uh, sort of power forward uh, post-type player out of Orlando, Florida. And uh, – we're very excited to have him. We feel like he's got a lot of potential, and uh, uh, we, 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 we liked um, his um, we liked his attitude and, and, and just the things we were able to gather about him early. And we liked him enough to, we, wanted to, we wanted to put an offer on the table early and see if he would, would accept, and thankfully he did. Who does he remind you of, somebody either from Carson Newman or within this league that fans might be familiar with? I, I mean, I, 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 that, 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 that's a tough one because when you say this, it sort of it sets it – sort of it, it, it can maybe put undue pressure, pressure. but you know, I, 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 he sort of has that Carson Brooks kind of mm-hmm. uh, really, really rugged physical body type. Um, um, got got a, got a motor about him. Likes to compete. Likes it. Likes to do the blue collar, dirty stuff. Uh, and I mean, dirty in a, in a positive mm-hmm. sense. Uh, but then he 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 he's got some skill set that sort of surprises you. So. Um, you know, I think there's some similarities, and, and if you look at, at how he's performed so far in high school, and you, and you statistically look at it, again, a lot of similarities there. So, if he ends up being the kind of uh, performer that Carson was here for most of his career, then then, then we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll be happy with that. Uh, what's what work is left to be done uh, on the recruiting trail? No, you can't talk specifics, but uh, what are the goals for the rest of the, this time period? Well, I- any more, uh, you know, we, and, and you know, I've talked about it in the past. I mean, at the Division One, Division Two level, in, in sport in general, college sport, uh, there are more and more kids that, that decide to up and leave and, and they transfer out, and it's 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 at an all time high. So, uh, at this point, I, I, the kids we have here seem to be very content, and happy, and we, we want everybody to make it. But but if 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 the roster stays intact with the exception of Sawyer and you know um, well, we very well may be done uh, yeah. you know if, if some things were to change uh, then you have to determine you know w- what the needs are and so at this point we're sort of in a we're sort of in a, in a holding pattern and, and and we'll wait till the end of the season and reevaluate and sort of see where things are and if we identify that we have some specific needs we'll go out and and, and pursue those kind of needs and the truth of the matter is you know, you know most kids nowadays try to wait it out and mm-hmm. they wait for for kentucky or or florida or north carolina or somebody to come knocking and uh when those things don't happen reality finally creeps into the equation then then guys become much more humble and receptive to 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 division two uh callers Chuck, pleasure as always. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Cap. It's Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is CNEagles.com.